Pigeon Forge, and it's all things pumpkins these mm -hmm. days. We're getting close to Halloween. This looks like a great recipe that can carry into Thanksgiving. Absolutely, and it's great and it's so simple to make. All you need is one bowl. So we're going to go ahead and make some one bowl pumpkin squares. Okay. So one really bowl pumpkin squares. I like it. <laughs> I know. I mean, it's not so intimidating getting out the KitchenAid mixer. So room temperature ingredients are really key here. It's going to make sure everything blends up super easy. Mm -hmm. I have four eggs. I'm going to go ahead and stir that with one cup of sugar. And we're going to go ahead and add some brown sugar. It's going to make it a little chewy. And it's going to add that great molasses -y flavor that's really important with fall baking. And I'm sure you guys are very busy with fall baking. Uh, yes, and that and we're getting ready for the holidays. So think Thanksgiving, even thinking ahead to Christmas. As a baker, it's definitely my favorite time of year. Yes. And one 15 ounce can of pumpkin, which I like too, because if it calls for a little bit less than that, you always think, oh, what am I going to do with half a cup of pumpkin? Mm -hmm. This just takes the whole can. And then we are going to go ahead and add one cup of canola oil. It's just a really mild oil. It's going to create that moisture. So go ahead and blend that by hand, wooden spoon or whisk. Okay. So you don't need the KitchenAid, you don't need the nope. mixer. And then we're going to go ahead and add two cups of just plain all-purpose flour. You can pick that up at our general store if you make a visit with us this fall. One teaspoon of salt. One teaspoon of baking soda. Going to neutralize everything. Mm -hmm. And pumpkin pie spice. Going to make the whole house smell amazing. Yeah. That blend oh, of yum. cinnamon, cloves, allspice, nothing. He just got Todd Howe's attention. I just saw him look up from the radar. I know. So. He's waiting for the samples. Uh -huh. And we're going to go ahead and blend this by hand and bake it in a 9 by 13 pan. Me, I'm so in love with our pottery. That's I went beautiful. ahead and grabbed one of our casserole dishes, but 9 by 13 would work great. And all of this is available at the cafe as well, the pottery. Mm-hmm. Wonderful. Pigeon River Pottery. Now, you said this is a busy time for baking. Do you all have a fall menu, too, that you're, you're tweaking? We do. We try to keep things as seasonal as possible, so we'll introduce some butternut squash, pumpkin, and then as you look forward to Thanksgiving and the holidays, we always love um, catering to you guys, so we'll have some to-go orders that you can come in and pick up. Are people already calling to make reservations for Thanksgiving? Yes, uh -huh. we do get some calls. Okay, because I'm sure you fill up pretty quickly as far as the catering goes. Oh, All right, delicious. got that in our pan. Okay. You're going to bake that about 30 minutes after it comes out. It's going to look a little something like this. Mm, now. So again, room temperature ingredients. I got four ounces of cream cheese, mm -hmm. about two tablespoons of butter, okay. and we're going to go ahead and add in one and a half cups of confectionery sugar. Yeah. Just blending this up. If you're going to wait for the cake to cool, mm -hmm. that's going to let the icing sit on there nice, nice and firm. If you pour it on when it's hot, it's going to have more of that glaze consistency. Okay. It used to go either or. This is a dessert where you can do no wrong. And then once you have the ice and icing layered on top, you just sit, sprinkle the Cut and serve. And if okay. you want to freeze these too, you know, people coming over after church for coffee or something, just freeze them and you can whip up this glaze in no time to put right on top. Oh, that sounds great. Mm -hmm. well, thank you so much. Always a pleasure. One bowl pumpkin squares. Easy mm -hmm. to make and it looks heavenly. We Thanks appreciate so you coming much. on. Anytime.